Hello everyone, thank you for attending this panel talk, Study at Zips, first session introducing our undergraduate program called Global Communication Management, in short we call GCM. My name is Stasol Kim, Senior Program Advisor, and I'll be your host today. Today we have three other guests from GCM program, so before we start our panel talk, can you please introduce yourself one by one? Hi, I'm Xu Qing the academic director of GCM program. Today, I'd like to introduce some academic aspects of the program to you. Hello everyone, my name is Wade, Wade Wu, and I'm the executive director of GCM program. Welcome to Zhejiang University, welcome to GCM. Hello, my name is Benjamin Wong. I'm, the, I'm from Canada, I'm a student from the GS GCM program, I'm a freshman from this program. I want to talk about some college life in our program. Thank you all for taking your time to attending this panel talk and deliver such a valuable information to our future GCM students. So my first question goes to Professor Shi, our academic director. So Professor Shi, can you introduce more about the GCM program, what kind of academic knowledge students can gain, or what kind of uh, core struck core courses of the GCM? Yes. Uh, the Global Communication and Management Program is an interdisciplinary undergraduate program open to international students. Our students are expected to acquire expertise in financial and business analysis, cross-cultural communication skills, and a deep understanding of China, and graduate with bilingual proficiency both in Chinese and English. So our program will offer practical courses in the field of finance, business, management, communications, mathematics, and Chinese language, history, and culture. Thank you, Professor Xi. Sounds like very interesting course combining the cross-cultural and also interdisciplinary education between the communication and the management. So Wade, as an uh, executive program director, can you explain more about the detailed course structure like course modules, credit systems, or what are the requirements? Okay, uh, for GCM program, actually we have four course modules. The first one is Chinese language, culture, and China studies. Uh, you will learn elementary Chinese, advanced Chinese, uh, reading, writing, history of Chinese civilization, Chinese literacy, uh, literacy and culture, etc. And the second part is intercultural communication. Uh, we'll schedule intercultural communication, uh, communication studies, experience of Chinese culture, etc. Such kind of courses for you. And uh, we also have the third module, that is uh, business, management, and finance. Uh, courses like macro, uh, macro, uh, macroeconomics, macroeconomics, uh, mathematics, and uh, statistics, uh, mathematics and uh, statistics, fintech are offered for you. And the fourth part is uh, business practice and internship. We arrange various uh, field trips to all our stu students, and uh, a three to six months internship. Uh, will be offered for our students. You also will have some chances to study abroad as an exchange student. Uh, basically, I want to emphasize that students of GCM are required to earn at least 140 credits. Yes, and uh, our courses consist of general courses, selective courses, alternative courses, and uh, uh, major courses, yeah. Great, thank you for the very detailed information. Sounds like all four courses seems very diverse but all, but all connected. So now I really want to hear a real experience from our GCM students. So Benjamin, as a first cohort of GCM, why did you choose G to study at GCM program and then how is it going on so far for the past couple months? Uh, firstly, I would say China is a very historical country with abundant cultural background. Uh, the city for this year has been developed so much and I'm very looking forward to study abroad in China and and Zhejiang University is definitely one of the best university in China and also very high ranking in the world so that's the reason for me to choose Zhejiang universities to study uh, and within 
Zhejiang University. GCM program is a very unique course that is different to the traditional management course. It provides an international perspective to it. Uh, so I think it's a very good opportunity for us as a global, in, to live in this globalized world to have an international perspective. Wow, interesting. Then another question for you, Benjamin. So, so far, what's the most interesting and surprising thing about our campus or our program? In this, in, in, in Zhejiang University Hainan International Campus, uh, we got opportunities to have field trips at the weekends, and teachers in GCM program are very generous and being very kind to us to take us discover the historical spot in around the city and the fantastic food Chinese food is very tasty and our course is keep into pace with the times so it's always interesting to have conversations uh, with the professors after studies Great. It's so nice of our professors to voluntarily taking our students to explore the Chinese culture and Chinese foods. And it seems like our faculty members and all the academic directors, program directors, are interested in not only students' academic life, but also their general life in China. So I wonder what other supports are available for our students. Wade, can you tell me more about the uh, supports that is available to our GCM students? Yes, of course. I'd like to use two phrases to answer your question. The first one is due tutorial system, and the second one is multidimensional uh, community. So the first one is due tutorial system. The GCM program team will appoint one Chinese mentor and one Chinese uh, one foreign mentor for each student. Since our students come from different countries and they have different backgrounds. We need to help them to adapt themselves to the new environment here in China. Yeah. And the next one is multidimensional community. Here I'd like to uh, elaborate in three points. The first one is learning community. Uh, for GCM students, uh, you will have selected courses with Chinese students in the same classroom. Uh, we may call it it's an academic community across nationalities. The next one is a living community. Uh, all our students in the international campus are living in the residential college. Uh, that means your neighbor, maybe she or he is a Chinese, and it's good for you to learn Chinese, to learn Chinese culture. And the third point is uh, an entertainment community. The international campus uh, provides several clubs or students' associations, which rec uh, recruit both Chinese and international students. Uh, which will provide a good chance for stu students to uh, work together, to learn together, to play together. Yeah, we also have prestigious. Uh, we also have prestigious Chinese and international professors live in the residential college, which means we provide a diverse international community for all of you. Wow, that sounds really great. Actually, I do understand many parents might worry about sending their kids to the China because it's their just freshly graded high school young kids and then sending to China for study, they might be worried about the environment. But it seems like we're prepared for this so friendly and safe environment yes. for our students. Yeah. yeah sure. So what about uh, Professor Shi? Can you tell me about more academic supports that is available for our students from our professors or academic directors? Yes. Uh, firstly, every course instructor will set, set up a WeChat communication group. Uh, so all the students can contact their teachers very easily all the time. And all our teachers will try their best to give instant or timely reply to all the questions raised in the group. And all the students are also very welcome to talk to their instructor for academic su uh, support or advices on other general issues in during their office hours every week, face to face or online. And since our program is based in the International Business School of Zhejiang University. 
The school offers various ac academic activities all year round. So all our students are welcome to register and participate in these activities, such as lectures, seminars, webinars, and annual academic conferences. Wow, great. Thank you for your answer. So I believe like we're all trying to prepare our, and then our program directors are doing their best to support our students. But there might be still some challenges that we never expected that, that our students are actually facing. So I want to ask Benjamin, like, do you actually feel any, faced any challenge between the transition from high school life to college life? Are there any challenges that you have faced so far and how did you overcome? Yes, indeed. Uh, it's very different for students studying in the high school and the universities. Firstly, is independent study. In high school, you have teachers to push you study, but in universities, independent study plays a big role, big role in studying. Uh, Self-discipline is very important uh, since no one has what, no one is watching you, and yes, you have to submit your homework and essays on time. And there is a lot of resources in this school you have to fully utilize them and attend, for example, attending uh, talks and meet, get meeting with professors. And one special thing in our campus is that there's very few limits. Uh, you have your independent room, uh, so which means uh, your personal life has is very free. Uh, also, finally, uh, living in a foreign city isn't isn't easy for us as an international student because there's so many things to be discovered around the city, uh, food stores and many etceteras. Well, great. So. I believe a lot of our future GCM students might be interested in your daily life. So can you tell me about your average week? How does it look like? And what are you up to these days? Uh, in our weeks during study times, uh, we have classes almost every day. However, we also have equal amount of time of uh, to do your personal habits like sports and instruments. Uh, you have to s schedule your time wisely. And after the classes, you, you can make friends with the teachers easily as well. Uh, you might have lunch or dinner with them together and the lectures could be it's very educational and you have homework to do and I see the final exam is approaching soon oh I see yeah exam is something very challenging but you can never avoid it right so good luck for your final exam and then it also means your winter vacation is coming so you know enjoy the winter vacation and by the way when the winter vacation comes I believe a lot of students because of these days the situation the foreign students might not able to go back to their home country and they may able to stay in the campus then, Ms. Uh, Professor Shi, are there any ways that our students can stay connected with our uh, academic directors or program directors if they need any help? Sure. All the students are very welcome to contact Wade and I individually, anytime online, via email, even during the vacation. And we are also together in a Dean Talk group. So, uh, welcome to send us messages. And you can also come to our office during our office hours, talk to us face to face or online. That's very great. 
So now let's move on to the admissions questions. Our 2021 enrollment application is already open, and I believe this is a, such a cr crucial moment for all of our future GCM students to prepare their required documents and submit their application. So uh, Wade, as a program director, can you share some information about the admissions process, what are the requirements, and some other tips? Yeah. Okay, so first I'd like to uh, remind all of our applicants uh, the first round interview will be scheduled during the middle of January uh, 2021. So uh, we suggest applicants to apply as early as possible. And about the application process, all applicants need to apply for the program via the application system. Uh, they need to submit all required uh, materials and then we will uh, review and evaluate your materials. And then if you pass the evaluation part, you will got the chance to take part in the online interview. And uh, uh, we will issue pre-admission notice after the uh, interview, of, cor uh, of course, if you are admitted by us, yes. And uh, I also like to uh, say something about our requirements for English uh, ability. Yes, for candidates whose native language is not English, must provide proof of English proficiency, such as TOEFL, ELSE, or other proof of proficiency. Uh, normally, uh, their TOEFL score should be higher than 80. Yeah, and uh, uh, the band requirement for ELSE is 5.5 or higher. Yes. Uh, we also have strict limitations for applicants. Uh, first, all applicants must be non-Chinese and uh, must be under the age of 25. Uh, and then applicants who have given up their original Chinese citizenships and become foreign citizens must become foreign citizens before April 30, 20, uh, 2017. That means four years before your application. And in the past four years, you should spend at least two years abroad. Uh, and then for those who has acquired foreign citizens at, uh, automatically at the date of birth in a foreign country, uh, if his parents or one of his parents is Chinese, uh, we need to make sure that his parents have already got the permanent resident before uh, the applicant's birth and also he or she should spend at least two years abroad in the past four years. Yeah, that's the basic requirements. It's a, it's a little complicated. Uh, if you have uh, some special uh, situation or questions, you may connect with us directly and we'll help you to solve these problems. Great, amazing. So just to uh, remind our future applicants, when is the deadline, the final deadline for our application? Uh, the deadline for GCM is April 30. And yeah. are there any tips for a successful admission? Uh, from, uh, pers from my side, I suggest that all applicants should apply for our program as early as possible. And I think maybe Professor Xu will elaborate later. Yeah. Okay, great. So one last question for the admissions process. Of course. This might be the most frequently asked question to me. Any scholarships available? Yes, of course. Actually, the GCM program, we have two scholarships for all our students. The first one is Zips Undergraduate Entrance Scholarship. Uh, this scholarship is uh, established for uh, rewarding individuals with outstanding potentials. The scholarship offer will be determined based on uh, students' uh, interview performance and their transcripts in high school and uh, potential contributions. And we also have the Zips Excellent Student Award, which rewarding students with outstanding academic performance. Uh, here, I also want to say more about our scholarships. So if you want to apply for our scholarship, you must provide uh, the application form uh, before the interview. Uh, detailed information will be given with the uh, interview notice together by email, yes. Uh, so please read it carefully, yeah, please read it carefully, <laughs> yeah, please read it carefully. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. Yeah. So, um, yeah, please. Yeah, uh, the, the, the last thing I want to emphasize that if you can uh, provide a good personal statement and uh, some winning, uh, some award-winning certificates related to uh, courses, 
will be very helpful uh, for applying for this scholarship. That's a very nice tip. So Benjamin, as a previous applicant who went through all these application process, do you have any advice that you would like to share to our future GCM students? Oh well, I have to say that you have to be aware of the deadline of the application process because in China, it's very it's the deadline is different for every universities, and once you pass the time, there's been no chance for you to apply the school within this year. Uh, finally, just take a deep breath and relax during the interview since <laughs> our teachers are being very kind and do not don't be nervous. Wow, that's a great useful advice. Thank you. And before we close the panel talk, I would like to leave our last word to our academic director, Professor Xu. So Professor Xu, are there any advice that you would like to leave to your future GCM students? Uh, I would also advise all the students who are interested in our program to apply as early as possible. Uh, we will arrange timely interview and send early offers to all the qualified applicants. As for scholarships, your application time will also be counted when we make decisions among applicants with a very similar academic background or performance. Thank you. Now it's time to close the panel talk. Thank you all for attend taking your time and attend this panel talk and delivering very great uh, advice to our future students. And thank you all for participating in this panel talk and showing a great interest in our GCM program. And before we close, we recently released a GCM virtual brochure. So if you want to check it out, please scan the QR code on the screen. And if you have any further questions, you can find our GCM director contact emails at our official website, or you can even search Zhejiang University International Business School at a Facebook and send us a Facebook direct message. Thank you again, and hope to see you all on this campus in the very near future. Bye-bye.